One of the challenges in the world today is that a third of the world's children don't have a legal identity, don't have a basic paper that says who they are. If you look at immunization, which is our interest, you have a country like Malawi, a poor African country, you know, 95% of the kids are immunized, but only two or 3% have birth certificates. Now, what's interesting is every child who gets immunized, we provide a child health card. That is the most widely distributed of a vital registration, more than birth certificate, death certificates, marriage certificates. If we could link that registration such that that child then could get an identity, that would be important for later on. One of the challenges that people are working on is trying to create a so-called digital identity. And that's quite interesting because you can create a legal identity. For example, blockchain is a tool that can be used to do that. You create an identifier that says you are you, but you don't have to link to it, let's say, your gender or your age or your political affiliation or your ethnic group. So an electronic health record, of course, is a subset of this idea. Um, you need an identity to be able then to link that to a health record. And, and the point about an identity is you could have a choice of whether you you share those records or not. It would allow the patient to be in control of their records, but allow also, if you got into a car accident overseas, you would have access to your information that you could make available to health professionals. That would be the dream of what we would do. The last thing is, of course, it allows big data to take over because if you can separate those identifiers, you can use that big data to understand, are there side effects from medicines? Are there uh, different uh, ways we could treat people? What's the natural history? You could learn so much from those, that data system that would allow you to help improve healthcare.